I scored something that I genuinely thought I would never see sealed again. The original Halo Wars Scorpion. To find one of these sealed is hard enough. To find it at a really good price, even harder. Before I build it, I want to showcase the set properly to you guys. What the bags look like, the packaging, everything like that. Behold, a holy grail. I can't imagine many of these are even still sealed anymore. There can't be many. This packaging, a lot of this is just kind of telling me what Mega needs in their present day. Like, look at this. This is probably some like Battle of Arcadia in the background. And then you've got the Scorpion coming out, literally bursting out the packaging. It feels like it is in the middle of a war. I don't know if that's the kind of pose you'd be striking if you were in the middle of a battlefield, but I mean, you do you, Spartan. There's something about these renders that are just like so crisp and like have nice little like black outlines around them. I just love the whole feel here. And this is set number five. You can see the full lineup on the back here. This is the original Halo Wars, the Authentic Collector's Series sort of run of sets in the early 2009. And you can see we've already got a lot of the establishing stuff to begin with. The Aerial Ambush, a really iconic set. Flamethrower, Beam Rifle, the Grunts didn't come with any weapons. We had an SMG and a shotgun and that was it. So much life. It feels like a full schematic approach. Like you really get that militaristic feel to it. And they were really showing off the camouflage effect at the time. And then this is my favorite thing about these sets. Genuine rips of Halo Wars assets that you can't, like you can't even find those assets in HD online to begin with, like based on the game. They were so good at showing you how they were ripped straight out of the game. This little CAD diagram of the Scorpion as well. Exceptional. The UNSC main battle tank is the most powerful mobile weapons platform in the UNSC arsenal. Weighing in at 66 tons, the Scorpion is armed with a 90 millimeter high velocity cannon and 7.62 millimeter machine gun. Up Upgrades include infantry, canister shell ammunition, and increased turret speed. Look at Jerome. He's so crumpled and... and, and <laughs> oh, he's, he's seen better days. He's seen better days. But let's break it open, shall we? Look at that. Sealed bags, original manual, original stickers. We're in heaven, boys. It came with these three bags. Do I know it's complete for sure? No, absolutely not. I don't know this is complete. We got a nice sticker sheet there. This is fun. Look at this just fun. We're gonna have a fun time making this. A couple of the old mega sets used to come with this almost like sprue kit, <laughs> but you had to pop them out. Bit of a waste of plastic on this end, but I imagine a lot of that happens in the factory anyway. They've been in bags for 15 years and they still look like they were made yesterday. There's a small part of me that feels almost bad about opening this because it is a mint. I really want to showcase this stuff to you guys. I want you to be able to see and feel what these sets were because these are so hard to get hold of these days. So to be able to go back in time and observe these, I think is a really fun idea. And Mega will be the first to admit that their piece quality has improved a lot over the years, but still, can't beat the old stuff. There's something about the old stuff. There they are, the original figures. Now you gotta really cast your mind back for this. You know, back in the day when you got hold of a red Spartan when all you'd had is green, that was like your mint. You have, say for example, the new Phantom comes with Jager Redomni. The new Pelican came with Brohammer. For us, getting a red Spartan, that was like the mint because they were green all the way through the range. You felt like you'd got some really rare collectibles. Now, of course, the red one was eventually released in blind bags anyway, but it's still, it was really cool to see. I remember my first red Spartan like it was yesterday. The Blue Elite. It sort of stood the test of time. It was here for a long while and we had it in so many sets. The green Elite in the Series 1 blind bags we had a bronze elite that came out in an armory pack. There's a moment where you realize how vintage these are, being 15 years old. And I think one day they'll be regarded as seriously rare and vintage collectibles. So there's our elite and red Sparta. Four sets of Caterpillar tracks in mint condition in a bag. That's pretty wild. Now, like any good builder, we have to organize our pieces. From what I can see, every piece that I know has to be in this set is there. Like, I'm feeling pretty good that this is gonna be 100% complete. And you want more evidence that this set is literally ripped from the game? The literal background of this instruction manual is Marines at the Battle of Harvest. Some of these instructions are just janky to understand, like pause the screen and tell me how you're meant to do that. Look at all those lines interlaced with each other. It actually took me a few attempts to figure it out. <laughs> I 
finishing off the fourth and final Caterpillar track now, and you do kind of start to get a rhythm as to... It's almost like understanding an old language, these instruction manuals. Like, once you start to get back into that rhythm, it becomes super nostalgic. And of course, something revolutionary at the time were these camo bricks. Like, they were a lot of the marketing for these sets, and rightfully so, they are gorgeous. The way I've been told this by Mega and that, you know, I'm no toy scientist, but it's all about the molding process and having different weights and different types of materials that cool at different rates, creating these beautiful marbling effects. But don't get me wrong, these things are flimsy. You can see even when I'm applying these stickers, I still break the vehicle and have to put it back together again. But you know, it's their first attempt and they only get better and better. You know, when I'm talking about new mega releases, I'm usually quite critical of the old ones uh, as a compliment to the new by saying that they didn't really have many smoothed off edges. A lot of them were very rough, just bubbles and mega blocks. Blobs. A lot of them weren't smoothed off, they were just plain exposed pieces. But this one is actually really nice for that, it's got a lot of smoothed edges and works really well. And I gotta tell you, being able to take these stickers out and apply them, 15 years old but feel like they were released today, incredible stuff. Although I'm mostly against stickers because they do degrade over time, you can't argue with the battle damage they provide. It's also fun how Mega gives you extra stickers so you can customize it the way you want. And they always used to include these original Halo Wars and Mega stickers as well. Like, I used to just stick them everywhere around my house. Finishing touches time. Ladies and gentlemen, 100% complete, the UNSC Scorpion yes. snapped together like a beauty. I took a gamble with this, I bought it for cheap because it was out of its box, but oh man, it paid off. This thing is beautiful. The nostalgia is strong with this one, and just to hold one in my hands after all these years, mint condition, just not a speck of dust, grime, or dirt on it. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of content. I'm doing something very fresh and new with my channel, complete new start, trying to go back to my roots with these nostalgic sets, and I have a lot more sealed that I could for the camera for the audience's educational purposes in the future so shout out to your stay awesome stay safe domain out